How many states have abolished, uh, abolished the death penalty altogether? Well, we're now up to, if you include the states with moratoriums, we're up to um, 24 states. Um, in terms of formal abolition, there are 20 states in the District of Columbia in which the death penalty is no longer on the books. And of the 24, uh, six remaining states, how many death sentences were handed down last year? Last year, um, the number was 50, uh, which is the lowest number in many years and, you know, a fraction of the number of death sentences that were being handed down in the 90s when it was more like, you know, 250 or 300 a year. And do you think it's because juries are have become more reluctant to hand down a death sentence? Um, that is one possible factor, but I think what might be more important is um, the cost of the death penalty and an awareness in a time of um, constrained state budgets. This not, might not necessarily be a really worthwhile use of state resources. It actually costs much more money to try to impose the death penalty than to keep someone in prison for their whole life. And if that seems odd, then you also have to understand that appeals drag out for many years. So prosecutors, so prosecutors are less likely to call for a, a death penalty, a death sentence. That's right. Prosecutors are instituting them less. They're using them less as a weapon. And I think, um, while this certainly isn't true everywhere, in most places in the country, prosecutors are more aware of trying to reserve the death penalty for the, the, the worst of the worst, the truly heinous crimes, which is what the Supreme Court has also been moving toward as well.